F-series chassis for programming and coding. Do our regular automatic identification. It sees a 528i, a F10 chassis. We'll hit apply it. Uh, here you don't need to do the diagnostic sections through read vehicle. We're going to go straight to BN 2020 series programming. Uh, the first thing we need to do is hit initiate flashing server. And this is the server that's actually on the vehicle itself, basically the gateway. You'll see down here a little timer going around in a circle, just letting you know it's busy. Um, checking into the car system. Now that that's completed, we'll go up to read car contents. Now we see the little timer again uh, letting us know it's in process. And here we have a list of all the modules that are uh, on the vehicle. You can see we can scroll down here and see all the rest of them. So up here, as you look, you see if you have a red line in the ECU list, select this line and press the Fix ECU button. <clears throat> Generally, what would happen if you put a new module in a vehicle, it's going to turn up red like this. And that's when we're going to go in to program that new module and code it to the vehicle. So we would click on the one with the red line. And all you have to do at this point is click on Fix ECU, and everything will be done automatically. Now, if this had been a new ECU in this vehicle, we wouldn't get this little um, note message that pops up. Uh, as you notice, this ECU does not support coding. This is not a fault. Some modules just do not need to have coding files. So if you close that off, down here in the CAFD, there would have been an, uh, another um, programming number. Um, like you see up here, these two have existing file, file numbers. There would have been a new updated number down here in this box. And you clicked on it, and all you would do is we would proceed with coding, which we're not going to be able to do since this uh, module doesn't have the capability. And this car is fairly new, and we're testing. It doesn't have anything um, new on it that needs to be uh, coded at this point. So um, what you would do now is if... Um, you wanted to look at what is in the eye level updates. You can see here the eye level shipment, what everything was the day this car was shipped from the factory, the last update, and the current one you're going to update to would all be down here in these boxes. Um, it shows you exactly what's happening. But what we need to do first, we need to build a therapy plan. And this is what you would do anytime you're looking for an update on any module on the vehicle that you wanted to do. So you hit build therapy update and you see the little um, clock wheel there uh, letting us know that it's uh, in process in the background. It's, it's searching the car and locating all the um, information. It's actually comparing the car, what's on each module of the vehicle, with the known updates that are in the uh, database of the uh, wizard uh, hard drive itself. And this can take anywhere from, you know, just 30 seconds or so up to as much as maybe 10 minutes, depending on the year and the model of the vehicle. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's completed it. And over here on the right, you've got a flashing list and a coding list uh, for each module that's on the car. Anytime you see something highlighted here in yellow, whether it's a flash or a code, this is stuff that there is an update that's in the database for this particular module. Uh, as you can see, this ACSM module has both a flash update and a coding update. The ASD has only a coding update. There's no flash update available for it. The, the CAS module, same way. It has a flash and a coding update. So we go down through the list. This EPS module, um, it doesn't have any flash or coding updates either one, so nothing can be done with it. But uh, if you were to do, if you were to over here and just go to a complete execute, you know, it would do a complete eye level update on this car, much like what the dealers do uh, when they have to update one module on a car. They have to, they have to eye level upgrade the whole car, and this could take, you know, 
uh, a multitude of hours, uh, depending on how, how much there is. So what we can do instead, though, is let's just say that um, this transmission, we wanted to update this transmission, the flash update, to correct the shifting issue or whatever it had. We would just highlight that line and just go down to Fix ECU and click on it, and it is now going to uh, update this module by flashing it and then fishing it off coding it. And it'll do it all automatically for you. Um, there's nothing more that you need to do for that. So I hope this makes it easier for you to uh, understand. If you want to do two or three modules at a time, you can. You can go up, you know, you can pick all these. You can just start clicking, clicking which ones you want to do. And so, you know, just and say, okay, now go ahead and, you know, fix the ECUs or, excuse me, execute the, this therapy plan that we want. Just update these ones that are check marked. So that uh, would that would do exactly what you wanted it to do. So we're going to return back to the diagnostic system at this point now.